Hey, I'm Ryan with Warner Discovers, and today we're going to look at the Obby RC84T, and this is the 240 volt version. Now, this supports up to 22 amps. You can put this in line with your electric heat, and so there's an area in the house that I'd like to hook up a smart thermostat. And what this does basically goes in between your electric heat and your feed of your 240 while also supplying 24 volts for a smart thermostat. So I had an extra Ecobee to hook up and I wanted to hook it up for this area. And so this was the perfect solution. I had it in the last house that I was in and it worked great. Let's see what's in the box now. So first you have the diagram for the electric heating relay with the 24 volt transformer. And it shows you how to wire up the diagram. Then we have the relay itself. You can see here on the side, there is an R, W, and a C, which can go to your thermostat. And then you also have 16 inches of cable that come out the bottom. So you could hook this onto a box or mount it like this with the two sides. And that's all that comes in the box, not much to it. Follow along if you wanna check out my installation. Just a word of warning, if you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, definitely get an electrician. I am not an electrician. This is not professional advice. So take it with a grain of salt, but if you're curious, hopefully this installation may help you. So let's get started. So I'm planning to use this four inch box to combine all the wires for the electrical heat and the obby to mount onto. So I knocked out the bottom two and the top one. So two of the heaters are gonna come in and then the line is gonna come in down here. And then the obby itself, I'm gonna knock out the center one and put these wires through there. Now we have the center knocked out and the obby connected to the box. And we can trim these if we want, 16 inches by default. And let's go put the box where I need it to be. So I'm behind the wall where the heaters are and this is where the old school thermostat is. You can see two of the heaters go in there and then the line from the electrical panel goes in on the other side. So I'm actually gonna mount this over here and have those two heaters come into here as well as the line and then I'll run the thermostat wire over there to the new thermostat. So let's go ahead and mount this with two self-drilling sheet metal screws. Now I'm going to move my wires over to this box. Obviously shut off your breaker if you haven't already. So I have the two heaters moved over and the feed. So we have the feed right here and then the heater here and the heater here and just use these to strip all those wires. Okay, so we got the two heaters and the feed coming in here. We have the black going to the black on the obby. We have all the neutrals together with the blue on the obby. We have all of the grounds together between the feed and the two heaters. And then we have the two blacks from both heaters on the red of the obby. So now we're going to hook up the thermostat wire. Now we got the thermostat wire ran to the old box and let's hook up the smart thermostat. Now I got it hooked up to the Ecobee. And if you only have one R wire, you have to use the RC and then the C and the W. And throw the breaker on and there we go. So I will note the connections here. I'll sort of, I'll make a diagram of what exactly is what here with some arrows and some text, but the LED light won't come on until it's actually calling for the heat. Otherwise, you won't really know it's on unless you go check the thermostat. So here it is calling for heat and the light is on and let's go check it out. So here it is on and the first heater is running. You can feel the warm air blowing in. Then we have the baseboard and I can feel it warming up. So I hope that was helpful doing the installation and it's up and running and working great with the Ecobee. Let me know if you have any questions. It seems like some people in the reviews often get a little bit confused and it can be confusing with uh, all the wires in one box. So I hope the diagram that I showed showing exactly what I had hooked up might help. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.